In this video, we're going to be having a look at transport in the UK and getting that into your home assistant. Make sure you stick around and if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button below and keep an eye out for more videos. Hi, I'm Will from Will Storage Tech and today we're going to be having a look at getting your UK transport into Home Assistant. We're going to have a look at using the London Underground integration and then the UK transport integration to get even more information. So let's get going. Well, first of all, we'll go to the Home Assistant documentation and we can see the London Underground sensor. And from this integration, we can basically get the status of various lines on the London Underground. Now this is very useful for basic information. Uh, so we're going to copy this information and see what we get in Home Assistant. So we head into our code editor and then we want to go to our sensors. Mine are obviously in a separate file. And then if we pop that in here, delete that, tab that in. So we can see all the different lines that we might want. Uh, personally, I don't care about most of those lines. I just want the TFL, the Piccadilly, the Central, and the District. So we can do very simply just save that and restart Home Assistant. And now that's restarted, we can check our tube lines. So if we check the district line, we can see we've got good service. Good service. Uh, and good service. And good service. Fantastic. So if we didn't have good service, it would also provide us in the description the information of what wasn't good service. So now we've seen what the London Underground integration can do, let's have a look at the UK transport integration. So this is using the transport API, uh, and you do have a free tier allowing 30,000 requests a month. And from this, you can get all sorts of information about UK transport. So if we open that at link up, go to developer, and then you're going to need to sign up if you haven't got an account already. If you do, then you can sign in. And from here, you can see your ID and your key. And then we can test it out. So if we go to the API reference, we can see all sorts of things that we're able to do uh, from UK trains, UK buses, journeys, all sorts of things. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is have a look at bus stops. Uh, so we want to know live information at a certain bus stop. So, to do this, we need to do a number of things. We need to get an ATCO code, which is the code of the bus stop. And we can do that using OpenStreetMap. If we go to OpenStreetMap, we can zoom in to a random bus stop. King's Reach building, lovely. And then we click on layers and we view map data. We can then click on this bus stop and it will give us an ATCO code for King's Reach building. We can then copy that and put it in the at code. We can then get an at ID and an at key. We want to, and then we can add a limit if you want. So that limits the number of departures to return when you submit to the get command. So the default will be the next three buses to show up. Okay, and once we press get, we can go down here and see the response. So, what we're actually going to do is copy this response, just as a demo, into a new file, and then we can have a look at what it's actually doing. So we can see that we've got 
the 381 is coming in. And we've got the 381 to Peckham. Expected time of 1721. And we've got also the 381 to Peckham, 1727. And the 1744. So to integrate this, we're going to need to go to add another sensor. So we copy the YAML, paste it into our sensors. Obviously, we don't need that. We can tab that in. UK Transport, we need an app ID. And then we need to get our queries. So we can see that the bus stop is going to Peckham. So Peckham is our destination. Our origin is the bus stop that we want to check. And our destination is Peckham, because the direction of the bus. OK, then we can go into our developer tools and have a look at bus. Next bus to Peckham, which is the 381. We can see the two buses. We've got 1747 and the 1758. Fantastic. Right, so now we've got this information, what are we going to do? Of course, we're going to make an automation. For this automation, we're going to need an inject node. We're going to need a current state node. We're actually going to need a few of them. So let's just drop in a few of them. And the first one is going to check the central line. The second one is going to check the Piccadilly line. And the third one is going to check our bus. Next bus to Peckham. OK, and then what we're going to do. OK, I'm going to do a persistent notification because I like a persistent notification. We can see it work. Um, and then we're going to put in our data. And for our data, we're going to use this. So we've got a message and our message is there is Central, so that's taking our message dot central message uh, on the central line and Piccadilly on the Piccadilly line. So that's taking our two messages and putting them into one place. And in theory, if we deploy that and test it out, we get a persistent notification saying there is good service on the central line and good service on the Piccadilly line. Of course, if you don't want a persistent notification, you could use text to speech and get it to speak to you instead. And then what we're going to do is have a look at our sense.next bus to Peckham. And this is going to be an interesting one because, okay, so the state here is actually the time until the next scheduled bus should arrive. The problem is the scheduled bus and the estimated bus are two very different things. So we want to get the estimated information. So what we're going to need to do is put in a debug node in here and see what we get out. Right, so if we deploy that and trigger it, we get our complete message output, which is saying data attributes next bus is zero dot estimated. So that's quite a quite an event. We're going to want to capture that. So if we use a change node and we want to set message.next to message.data.attributes.nextbuses with a single S zero we want the first one, dot estimated. 
And then in theory, if we put that in there instead, clear that off, give it a deploy, we should get under message.next, we should have a single time. Message.next, 1744. Fantastic. Okay, now we've got that next, next bus time, we can just do a, another notification of some form. For me, I'm just going to notify my phone. So as soon as I step out the door, I can see, okay, I've got this many minutes. NCID is going to be, no, nope, done that. Okay, so the data, we need another message. And our message is going to say, your next bus is the next. Run. You might not have to run. Um, okay, and that gives you all the information you need. So then, we can delete debug node, we can deploy, and then when you trigger the node, not only do we get a notification, a persistent notification on your tablet on the wall, which can pop up saying you've got good service, but you also have the next bus time on your phone. Now, obviously, you can make automations as simple or as complicated as you want. This is naturally a very simple automation um, with a couple of simple notifications, but you could make it a whole lot more complicated. You could say that if there's good service, then completely ignore it. If it's bad service, then maybe you want a notification on your phone saying what the service is. Maybe you want a notification on your phone giving you a link to the TFL website so you can see what the problem is. Uh, you might want to not just know what the next time, you might want to not just know what the time of the next bus is, but actually how long you've got left. And you could do that either again through text to speech or a notification or through your lights. You could have your lights being green if you've got plenty of time to get to the bus or red if you're about to miss the bus. So of course, as always, the options are endless. Uh, I'm going to link this flow onto my GitHub uh, so you can download it and, and play along. Um, but admittedly, it is a very simple flow compared to what you could and might want to do. So there we go. UK Transport integrated into Home Assistant and giving you notifications. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and click the bell icon to find out more about My Smart Tech and how you can build yourself the ultimate smart home.